Hello, hello. It is eight o'clock Thursday night, and uh, we're going to talk about some spa products tonight. So I'll give it a sec, see if anybody wants to join me. Turn my light on over there so I'm not dark on one side and light on the other. Hope everybody had a good Thursday. Mine was pretty chill, didn't do a whole lot. Got to watch Mr. Win Mr. Winston again, who's asleep in mom's lap now. And I'm going to grab some water real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Well, if you are watching the replay and uh, you got any questions, anything, post them in the comments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. I am Tamara with Our Big Oily Family. So glad you're here. And uh, yeah. So the first one that I want to go over is, you know, I always think it's really important to communicate, you know, um, the spa and beauty industry um, at large is kind of scary. There's a lot of things that um, other countries have taken out of their products that um, ours are still left in, of course. So um, personal care products are one of the least regulated industries in the U.S. Um, the average American woman puts between 12 to 20 chemicals on their skin 365 days a year. Remember, whatever you go, whatever you put on your skin ends up in your body, right, because it gets absorbed. Um, so 80% of the ingredients that are used in daily personal care products have never been tested for safety. And the European Union has banned 1,300 chemicals used as ingredients in beauty products. The U.S. has only banned 11. So there's a big difference, right, between the two, obviously. What does it really say about the products that you're using right now, right? So it's really important that you find all natural, you know, holistic products that you can trust, um, and doTERRA's are just amazing and they work really well and they're cost effective. Um, some of the things I'll show you I've had for almost a year, actually probably almost a year, a little over a year actually because I got them at convention, not this last year in September, but a year ago, September. Um, so yeah, so they're very cost effective because you don't have to use much because they're concentrated and they work really well. So yeah. Um, the first thing then is uh, the hand and body lotion. You can get it individually. You can get it as a three pack. Um, super nice, very non greasy. I'm going to put a little bit on. You can see and typically you only need to use a little bit at a time like that much. Okay. You can add a drop of your essential oil to it. Some people will add um, couple of drops of essential oil to the bottom and then bottle and squish it around so it gets all mixed or you can do it you know as as needed but it's really nice that much is great for your hands to take up your arms a little bit um, doesn't leave it greasy so if I needed to sit here and type on my computer I could and I wouldn't feel like I was leaving grease marks all over my keys and stuff um, so it's really good to use as a carrier oil if you don't want to use an oily oil right um, Super nice for that. What else? I'm trying to think how I've how I have used this. I use this um, in my uh, what do I want to say breast regimen um, because frankincense is really good for overall breast health. And so I will put about that much in my hand. I'll add two drops of frankincense and rub it around and then just massage it all in. I do that once a night, um, and that is really good for cell renewal and stuff like that. It's really good for your your breast tissue. So um, that's one of the ways that I use it. It does have um, jojoba and macadamia seed oils and muru muru, I think is how you pronounce it, and theobroma seed butters. Um, so and it also has some really good nourishing plant extracts. So it's a really nice um, option if you don't want to use coconut oil or an oil as your carrier oil. Um, they also have those little containers. I would get it, but my purse is over there. 
Um, I know you can find them at, on Amazon. You can find them um, at the health food store. I know the one in um, Mount Vernon has them. Uh, I don't remember the name. Anyway, it has a, a nice wide lid like this, but this is much larger. So you can put lotion in it and add your essential oils to it. And that's what I carry in my purse. So I've got like a little hand lotion. It's like this big. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't weigh very much and it's not real huge. Um, so that's a nice way to do it too. So you've got lotion to carry with you. Um, another lotion that they have is the Citrus Bliss um, lotion. It's a smaller bottle. It's even a little bit smaller than, than the rose is. Um, Citrus Bliss is just a really nice fragrance. It's got the same type of um, uh, oils and things in it, um, moisturizing, nut butters and things like that in it. It's really good. Um, it is a little smaller, easier to carry in your purse. Um, and then the last one that they have is the Healing Hands, the doTERRA Rose Lotion. And what's really nice about this is that it's $20, but all 20 of that dollars goes towards um, Healing Hands, which is... Um, Let's see, so I'd say it right. It is um, the foundation, it's doTERRA's international registered nonprofit organization committed to improving lives through partnering with organizations that offer hope to millions around the world. It's amazing. Some of the organizations that they have partnered with, um, that they support, are doing really good things for people to help them have better lives. Um, and so all of the $20 goes towards, towards that. It doesn't, um, but the rose lotion is amazing. Uh, smells like rose, so if you don't have the rose touch, this is a little um, inexpensive way to get your rose essential oil, right? And it smells super good. It's really nice to use um, as a carrier oil at night. So if you uh, use uh, Serenity or lavender on the bottom of your feet or on your children's feet, you could put same thing. You're going to use just a little bit, you know, same amount. Um, and the bottle does look different. I've had this a while. This is one of the first ones I got. So it looks a little bit different um, than it used to. Uh, but super nice. Again, it doesn't have that greasy feeling. Don't have to use very much. And you could just use that at night as your carrier oil, right? Massage it on the feet, down the spine of your little ones if you wanted to use it that way. So let's see. The next thing then is the body butter. And I absolutely love, 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 love the body butter. Um, I'm obviously needing to get some cause I'm getting down to the end, but again, cost effective. I've had this since the September of 2016 convention, because that's when it came out. It has lasted me that long. Um, I use it every single night on my heels because you know how you can get those cracked dry ew, heels, um, during the summer and even during the winter. Um, I put on just a little bit on each heel, massage it in and that made a world of difference. I don't have the big cracks in there anymore. They're not dry looking. They look like normal heels. Yay. So that's really good for that. It has Douglas fir, wild orange, and frankincense are the essential oils in this. And it also has um, shea butter, cocoa seed butters, and uh, jojoba seed oil. What else is in there? Um, yeah, I think that's the main things that are in there. Um, great for any, you know, during the winter, you can get really kind of hangnaily and, and dried skin on your hands and stuff. So it's really good for that. It's a really nice lotion. If you get during the winter months, you can get like really itchy on your shins, um, just from it being dry, you know, and you've got your fire going or your heat going or whatever, and it just kind of dries your skin out. That really helps to relieve that. So you could just put a little bit on there. Um, but it is nice and thick. So it's a nice thick, um, body butter. I, I really like it. And I think it smells really good with the Douglas fir and the wild orange and the frankincense and frankincense is just awesome for your overall skin health. So yeah, another one, another good one to use. Let's see. I, there is a, um, sugar scrub. It's in the same size jar. I have used all of it and I have yet to replenish it, but it is really nice. It has a very fine grain sugar. So it's pretty kind of like light exfoliation. It'd be great for your feet or your hands. Um, yeah, really nice to use. And obviously you take a little bit out, massage it, you know, rub it on and then rinse it off and then just pat your hands dry. So you're leaving the oil that's on there. So it gets that nice, uh, moisturizing, um, great to use. That one's great to use af after you shave your legs, because you know how, when you shave your legs, it kind of exfoliates them also. And then if you could just finish it off with the, with the sugar scrub. So, yeah, there are three lip balms. I only have one. This is the herbal 
but um, there are three different blends. There's the original, which has wild orange and peppermint, and there is the herbal one, and then there's a tropical one, and the tropical one is my favorite. Obviously, I think I like the other ones better than the herbal, but to each their own. Um, so the so there's wild orange and peppermint. The tropical one has lime, clementine, ylang ylang in it, and then the herbal one has spearmint, lemon verbena, and marjoram. They do have um, coconut and moringa seed and avocado oils in them. Um, so they're super nice on your lips, um, not waxy feeling at all. They go on really smooth. It's really nice. Um, they, you can get them individually or you can get them as the three pack also, which makes them kind of cost effective. So let's see. Oh, the detoxifying mud mask. If you have not tried this, this is awesome. Um, it can make your skin red because like anything that has clay, right? the uh, bentonite clay it kind of brings all the um, impurities it kind of detoxifies right it brings everything to the surface so it can make your face red some people more than others um, it does say on here to leave it on for 10 minutes i would first start and only leave it on for maybe three to four minutes um, it is a pea-sized amount that's all you need a little pea-sized amount right and literally that will it doesn't go on it's not like a thick mask so you don't put it on so that you're all white and all you see is your eyes and your mouth right that's not how this one works just a light layer so that pea size amount is enough to cover your face and your neck and kind of right down here i don't know how to pronounce that word it's french decolleté i have no idea i just butchered it i'm sure anyway um get decolleté i i don't know i'm not even gonna say it um anyway that amount will cover all of that you can leave it on for like three to four minutes and then uh rinse it off so another really good thing with this is that if you are switching over from a regular deodorant to a more natural one, this is a great detoxifier for your um, armpits. Again, you're just going to put it on, leave it on for a little bit, and then wash it off. It's a great way to help your body kind of make that adjustment um, so that you're not so stinky. And another good one that I just learned about is stinky feet. Stinky feet. Kids, husbands, anyone, stinky feet. Put a little bit, a little layer on the bottoms of their feet. Let it sit on there for, you know, three to four or five minutes and then rinse it off. Um, that's a really good one. So try it for that. Let's see. Oh, the body wash. The body wash, wash is awesome. Yep. And it has um, mica in it. I think it's called mica. So it's got that kind of that little glittery thing. But it is nice and thick. You don't have to use very much. Um... You can use, you know, a washcloth with it. You can use those little scrubbies with it. Um, works really well. This has bergamot, grapefruit, and cedarwood in it, I believe. Let me make sure that that's right. Bergamot. Grapefruit. And cedarwood. Yes. Those are the three oils. So it's really nice because it can be... It's not a floral fragrance, right? So it's not just geared towards women because my husband actually uses it and really likes it. Um, it's great. So it can go either way, right? Like unisex. Um, nice hack that you can do with this is that if you have little kids that like to do a huge squirt, right, of the soap and so you're going through it really fast, take a foaming hand soap, like pump, right? like you have for maybe your doTERRA hand soap, fill it 50-50. So fill it halfway with your, with your body wash, halfway with water, and then have them use that. And that's another good um, hack. I don't have it here. But if you have like a two ounce, um, like a foaming, again, a foaming uh, pump, but it's only two ounces, that's a great travel size to take. So you could take that with you on the plane and not have to worry about it being too big of a bottle, right? And, they, and they're going to toss it away if you're carrying it on. Um, and again, you just would mix it 50, 50, but it's really nice. I really like it. Super simple. Another thing you can use for body wash is, uh, the shampoo, the shampoo that smells like, I think it's wild orange and something else is in it, but it smells really good. It is pH balanced. So it works great for your skin. So if you run out of your body wash, you can always use that shampoo as your body wash. Yeah. Uh, there are quite a few DIY recipes that doTERRA has that um, you can look on doTERRA.com and then look under their blog section under DIY and you'll find a lot of recipes. So if you like to make 
you know, mud masks or you like to make the uh, body butter or the sugar scrubs or anything like that. There's a lot of recipes in there that you can find. So that's a good place to go look. One of the other things that's really nice is the um, bath bar. So it's a good sized. Oh, this, this has the uh, little doTERRA O on that side. Um, it is really nice. It's a very moisturizing bath bar. Um, it's really kind of one of a kind. Uh, it doesn't have the harsh surfactants in it like most soaps do. And it really leaves your um, skin feeling really nice and smooth and moisturized. So this has bergamot and grapefruit in it. Again, same thing like with the um, lip balm and the unscented lotion. You can get it individually and you can get it as a three pack. Um, so yeah, also has jojoba seed oil, um, vegetable derived glycerin and aloe vera juice. So yeah, it's really, it's really nice. I really like it. I'm not really a big soap user, but I really like this one. They also have a Serenity um, bath bar same same oils and everything in it obviously it has the serenity blend it doesn't have the bergamot and the grapefruit so you got two fragrances um, to choose from which is nice so i think i went through everything but the last thing i just want to mention is if you like to take baths or even if you don't if you have a foot bath great way to really relax at night and um, just kind of unwind after the day and do something really good for yourself which is what all the spa products are for right um, an epsom salt bath so in a regular bathtub you can put like one to two cups of epsom salts kind of swish them around in there so they dissolve take a little bit of milk put it in a, a little bowl or something and then add your essential oils to that so they're mixed and then sprinkle that in your uh, bath water and mix it around um, in the bath water, you're probably going to add about five to six drops of essential oils. Um, good ones are, you know, lavender, cedar wood, vetiver, peace, Douglas fir, anything that's just going to kind of make you help you relax. Um, if you don't like lavender aroma, you could always use pedigrain because that's called the man's lavender because it's not a floral smell. I really like it. It's kind of like a green smell. It has a lot of the same properties, very relaxing. Um, so you should try that, see how that is. Um, and then you want to soak for about 20 minutes or so in the bath. Uh, the Epsom salts, the magnesium is awesome for you. Um, very relaxing, helps you to sleep at night. If you don't like to take baths or you don't have a bathtub, you could always do a foot soak. Same thing, you're probably going to use, depending on the size, you know, of what you're putting your foot in or your feet in, use about a half a cup, maybe a cup at the most of Epsom salts and um, probably three to four drops of oil. And do the same thing with the milk and the, and the essential oils and then, you know, let your feet soak. Um, it will do the same thing. You'll absorb the uh, magnesium from the Epsom salts and you'll get the benefits of the essential oils. So that is all I have tonight. Again, there's a lot of um, DIY recipes on the doTERRA.com uh, blog. And so you can go look for those. If you have, if I forgot something, oh, I don't know. I don't think I did. But if you have some other product that you like to use and you want to share that in the comments with everybody or you got some different way that maybe you've used um, the mud mask or something, uh, let us know and uh, that'd be great. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday evening.